Okay, hello, this is going to be going over the very common idea of Russian bias that is predominant in War Thunder ground forces and just War Thunder in general. However, I'm going to be predominantly talking about ground forces specifically because I don't have enough experience, in my opinion, to talk about air forces. So in ground forces, you have lots of really short maps, which benefits lots of tanks that have specific weak spots. This is predominant on um, T-34s, for example, because you generally want to aim for like the turret ring or on the sides, which you can't do if you're a CQB and right in front of them. Um, the reason why that they, why Gaijin makes these map designs is, in my opinion, I don't, I don't know anybody at Gaijin, so I can't say for certain, but I feel like their idea is that it would make for quicker matches, which helps their queue times, and we all know how much they love their queue times, which seems to be their fallback on a lot of things for matchmaking which is strange and doesn't make a whole ton of sense. That's a separate issue, the matchmaking specifically, but as a result of this map designing idea of making shorter maps, you have situations in which the T-34s are able to go in close quarters and just punch people in the face because the other people can't punch at all because they'll punch too high or too low or to the left or right or whatever. And while the T-34 guns aren't super amazing, they're they're facing tanks where they don't have to worry about aiming too high or too low or too left or too right. They're facing uh, US tanks with kind of not super great armor that will occasionally bounce. And you're facing the German box tanks. The The area where T-34s exist in the BR is like 3 point maybe 7, I, I don't completely remember, to 5.3, not including premiums. So that's a really good 4.0 BR spread of um, Russian tanks. And what, what I mean by 4.0 is that they would go down to 2.7 and up to 6.3. So that's half of the BR right there, just T-34s. And in lots of that area, uh, you're going to have uh, US tanks with really bad garbage guns and really not so great armor that can bounce if you're lucky. And the M482, for example, does have a nice slant of armor. Um, but the Germans have box tanks, so if they're going in close quarters, like you really shouldn't as Germans, but sometimes it's necessary or whatever. Um, while you might have a good gun, if the Russian gets the shot off first, they have a lot more area to hit that's not as slanted. Very little of it's slanted for on these. Are, you're generally facing like Panzer IVs. Um, various TDs, and predominant, which are predominantly like flat, they're box tanks. I mean, it's just there's very little slant to bounce off of if you're going straight on, for example. It's just they're having easy shots because you're going in close quarters when you probably shouldn't, sometimes necessary, whatever. But this results in the Germans going like, oh, this is garbage. Um, this is Russian bias. And to put this out there, I play predominantly Germans. So I've experienced a lot of close quarter shenanigans with Russian tanks. Um, and then the US, they, they don't really have good guns to begin with, in my opinion, or I'm just bad with them, not much I'll admit. So it's harder for them to hit those spots in close quarters because there's less of an area for them to actually hit. Say you have a two meter spot that you could hit while it was a German tank, you'd have like maybe one meter for a US tank. That doesn't exactly how it works, but you get the idea of like you have less penetrated power and less areas you can actually successfully punch through, depending on the tank. Um, so all these CQB tanks, or not tanks, these maps, which are like, um, what is, we have the Advanced Orion that's very building-y, very close quarters, punch in the face, whatever. Poland, uh, you're predominantly playing in that city area. Don't normally play in those field areas as much. You sometimes play across the river. I don't, I hate that area. Um, you have Eastern Europe, which is basically the same idea as Poland, uh, city in the center, and little fields on the right and left. Those benefit those the tanks that can survive flick shots if you're turning a corner and you shoot. They survive if you have specific weak spots. So if you're in a Tiger 1 and you're facing like a American tank, or sometimes a Russian tank, you can technically survive flick shots a lot easier than if you're in a Panzer IV. However, T-34s are predominantly king in this area because they have more slants and therefore more bounce. Um, US tanks are just screwed in this context entirely. And again, British tanks, I've played against them, but I haven't played as them, so I don't know how they feel. 
and all that jazz. Um, considering how often you're in close quarters areas on various maps, this also includes like um, El Alamein and Tunisia, for example. They they're big maps. Uh, I like them; they're fun. But they do have those little city areas that if you go in there as Russians, you're going to have a bit of a benefit because, well, they'll have to take lots of flick shots, not as much as um, Poland, for example. But it does happen in uh, Tunisia and El Alamein some. Uh, what else? So, considering how often you have to deal with these flick shot tanks that you can't flick shot with no matter what tank you're in, and how large the BR plan is, 4.0 areas, from 2.7 I think it is to up to 6.3. That's a large span of areas that you just get dumb bounces that whether or not they should exist is more real. the fact on uh, Gaijin's modeling is weird because you'll get, if we made those maps bigger, you would have similar bounces to the US tanks because they have like the M4A2 for example with that nice slanted front plate. So you have a. So if you take out lots of these CQB areas, the T-34s will be on a similar level as the U.S. tanks, in my opinion. In my experience, that does seem like it would be the case. However, uh, we just have way too many close quarters maps. If Gaijin made the maps bigger, Poland used to be way bigger. They would have those like fields out there that you could actually go to, and you could also flank way around the city. It was great. That was fun. But then they made it shorter. And it's like, why? We didn't ask for this. We don't want this. So how, the only way that Gaijin can really fix this is by making maps that are bigger. I'm fine with having some CQB areas, but if the map's meta is predominantly in the CQB areas, then T-34s reign, and then people complain about Russian bias. Now, if you want to argue that Gaijin's doing that, making the small maps that way Russian tanks can win, I don't explicitly think so. I think that's a dumb idea. I think they care more about general money than just favoring one side, at least in opinion of tanks, but that's my opinion. It would be illogical to do that. Uh, even if you could say Guardian's illogical, so then therefore that's illogic, that seems kind of silly to me. So if you take Poland and you throw it back to its original like large area that it was, and you add like the fields of Normandy, for example, give it that huge area, as well as having the city on the side, those would be good maps. They'd be fairly balanced. They'd have some CQB area as well if you want to hide in there and do that as a T-34 or as an American or German for some reason. Then you could do that. So basically the point is, it's not so much Russian bias so much as it's just poor map design and until Kaijin fixes that, we're going to hear a lot of Russian bias for a long time. And even if they do fix that, people are going to say that anyways because Gaijin's a Russian-based company. So if you have any questions, let me know. If you want some clarifications on something, let me know. I'm going to put the notes that I used in the comments. Um, if you're looking for specific uh, statistics and tests, sorry, I can't really do that. I can, I just uh, did it for this. Anyways, I hope you enjoy the gameplay in the background. Uh, right, have a good day, and uh, let me know any questions or ideas or whatever.